Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to know how I've achieved this pineapple updo look, then stay tuned. So to begin, I've washed my hair and it's not completely like soaking wet, but it's damp. And now I'm applying some of my leave-in conditioner. You can use whatever works for your hair. And I'm just going to saturate this throughout my hair just so it is not dry um, when I achieve my look in the end. And right now I'm just going to do a little bit of detangling to prepare my hair for this style. And then I'm going to part my hair in the middle and start with my finger coiling. Now you don't have to do finger coiling for this look and typically I actually don't. Um, it's just that I did it by fluke one day and I actually liked how defined my curls looked in the pineapple so I decided to do it for a tutorial but typically I would just do a wash and go and you know my hair is not totally defined but it, it still works. So anyways I'm using a curl cream in my hair right now and I'll list the details in the description box. You can really use whatever works for you and I'm using a bore brush as well. Now you can see I'm just doing a twisting motion and then I'm just going to kind of twirl it around my finger. I'll speed up the video just so you get a better idea in a second. And I'm just doing this throughout my hair. I'm not really being neat with um, my parts or whatever. It doesn't really matter if it's done in a uniform way because you're going to end up separating the finger coils when it's dry anyways. Now as you can see I have really fine hair and it's not very, it's not super curly. Um, what I mean by this, I know when you see my hair you probably think it is curly, but it's curly but when it's wet, if I play with it too much, it kind of takes away the curl in a sense. So because I've combed it and brushed it, when I do my little finger twirl, some of the twirls are pretty, they're pretty sad looking. They're not like super, you know, springy looking. Um, so what I do is I, I'll take a paper towel and I'll just kind of scrunch the curls a bit just to help them kind of bounce back up after they've been kind of stretched out and finger coiled. So that's what I'm doing there and it also helps with the drying time because I do prefer to leave my hair to air dry. Now I'm just showing you a flexi rod because this is an option. You don't have to do finger coil by any means. We all have different textures here. You can do whatever you want really. You can use hot rollers, you could use, sorry, steam rollers, that's what I meant to say actually, <laughs> um, hot rollers, whatever you want to use really, uh, sponge roller like I'm showing there, even though that probably looks really weird to you <laughs> if you haven't seen that kind, uh, yeah, so whatever it works, um, you could do a braid out, a twist out, anything to kind of get your texture popping <laughs> so that when you do the updo, you know, it is kind of interesting in the front of your face, kind of framing it. So I'm just showing you my whole head is done now. As you can see, it's definitely not perfect, but you get the idea. Now I'm gonna leave it to air dry and it takes a few hours for my hair to fully dry. Um, so I kind of just do my thing. And then now I'm showing you the dried curls. As you can see, they're definitely a lot more springy now. And I'm just using a little bit of Moroccan oil on my hands, just kind of coating my hands a bit with them so that when I take out the curls, the ends stay a little bit shiny. Um, as you can see, some of the curls turn out a little bit better than the others. And the back, especially, I have to admit I didn't put as much effort just because I know that part's going to be brushed up anyways. Um, now, if you have thick hair, long hair, a lot of hair, this part may take a little while. But um, as you can see, I don't have a lot of those. <laughs> that, huh? So yeah, it's not going to take me very long just to kind of take this out. Um, for some of you, you may be able to split one of your coils into four ways, five ways. I am lucky if I can get two ways, <laughs> which is all good. You just got to work with what you have, right? So after I've undone most of the curls or coils, then I'm just going to try and make a little bit of volume in the at my roots so I'm just kind of using my fingertips and I'll just do a little bit of shaking out just so it's not too restrict or the curls aren't too refined looking I wanted a little bit of volume in the center just so 
it's not too, too perfect. I don't like anything too perfect. And you're going to see in this video, like, I actually do want, I show you three ways to do this. Um, because everyone likes to do things different ways and use different things. So I'm going to show you like this first look, you're going to see really defined curls, but that's not really me. <laughs> I like things to be a little bit wilder. So I'll show you in the end what I mean by, by, by that. But anyways, I'm going in with an Afro prick pick to make a little bit more volume. And now I'm using a tool that I love to use when I do my pineapple updo. And I just found that at Target, it's not very hard to find, I don't believe. And it's by the brand Goody. I don't know what it's called, but it's just kind of like two combs. And this is going to work well if you are like me and you don't have super thick hair. If you have thick hair, this may not work for you as well, but it does work for me. Now you can kind of just see how it works here. You kind of just stick the comb in one side and then you're going to pull it around to the other side. It does take a little bit of getting used to when it's your first time using it because if you don't angle it correctly, sometimes you can, it, it will hurt your head basically. <laughs> so you kind of have to wiggle it a bit um, to get it fitting just right so that it doesn't hurt your head. So it feels secure, but you know, it's not pulling at your hairline because if it's, if you feel like it's pulling at your hairline, it's way too tight. So you kind of got to adjust it. So now what I'm doing is I was just kind of separating some of the coils as well just to fill in some of the gaps showing at the front of my hair. Again, I don't have a lot of hair, so when it's defined like this, it's going to be harder for it to look full. Um, then I just used a curl control paste. Again, I'll put that in the description. And I just did that to sleek down my hair. And now I'm just going in with some bobby pins, kind of just to work on the styling a bit, just to fill in any little spaces. Now, if you have a lot of hair, again, you probably won't need to do this. Um, actually, you probably will need to do this to kind of give it more of a, that pineapple shape, but you definitely won't have issues with filling in little gaps. Now, if your hair is on the long side and you're like, Charm, Charmaine, it's way too long, like it's covering my eyeballs. Then all you do is just what I'm showing you, you just kind of push it in towards your roots and then just to kind of make it shorter looking and then just bobby pin that in. So you could have like a whole bunch of bobby pins up in there and nobody really needs to know. That is your business girl. You don't have to tell anyone. Okay, so if you have long hair, you can still achieve this look. You're just going to have to use a lot of different tools, but it will still work for you. Now the great thing about this look is you can get more than one day out of it very easily because it's very similar, if not the same as the regular curly girl nighttime routine. So if you just have a satin bonnet, you can pretty much see what you do. You just cover your hair, go to sleep, la la la. Then when you wake up, all you're gonna need to do is kinda refresh it. So you can shake it out a bit any little frizz that's kind of happened over the night, kind of just smooth it out, use some bobby pins, fill in those little spaces again with some bobby pins and you can kind of just brush the sides again and you're good to go. That shouldn't take you very long at all. Now, if you've watched this and you're like, that's cute, but who can really find that little tool thingy from Target? I know you said it's from Target Charm, but I went to my Target and it's not there. Okay, bobby pins. Bobby pins are another way to create this style. So I'm gonna show you how I do it just using bobby pins. Now, if you have thicker hair, you're probably gonna need those really thick bobby pins or hair clips. So you know the kind that works for you because you probably already use them or have them. <laughs> so I'm just using regular ones because that's fine for me. So again, it's the exact same process and instead you're just using a whole bunch of bobby pins. Now I know there's going to be someone out there that's thinking, Charm, why are you doing all of that? Why don't you just put a ponytail at the front of your head? This is why. Because when you don't have a lot of hair, it looks like this. And it's not that cute. But if you have a lot of hair, that's a very easy way to do it, and that's how you should do it. And that's actually how I do it when I'm going to bed, when I'm trying to preserve my curls. But for an actual look, 
a style, my pineapple style, that is not how I do it. I do it with my clip that I showed you. That's the best for me. And this is the final look using that clip. And my hair is now how I like it. It's not as perfectly defined. It's been kind of worked in. It's had the afro pick at it a lot, a lot more volume. And this is my ideal way to do my pineapple. Okay, so I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please feel free to share it. And I would love for you to subscribe because I kind of feel like we're friends now that you've seen so much of me. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.